you go. Snipes up for the Ravens. Snipes up for the Empire. Let's get into it. Wolfskin, what have you got? You've got a sniper. Can't connect there. The smoke there throws him off a little bit, and that's exactly what it's meant for here. I saw Ravens play this multiple times now, and we've seen a very different team. We've seen teams kind of take advantage and get first blood on them time and time again. Huke! He's going to take the head clean off of scraps here. Jerd, last time I think I saw him play this in Minnesota, he was kind of blooded a lot of that time. It looks like he's changing his play style, which is good for the Ravens. But 5v4 right now, with a minute and a half on the Jerd trying to find his way forward. I think he saw the fanny pack of shots he's just on the right-hand side there. Rated finds a kill on a Crim 6 to tie it up 4-4. Four four. And now... Patience! Oh, wow! Oh, no! He misses two. That could have been an easy kill. These may come back to bite him now. One minute left on the clock. London need to make a play towards that B site. They're fighting slowly but surely through the middle. They've got their angles covered, so if anyone from Dallas makes a move through mid or try to cut through A, they will be caught there. This two snipe setup from Dallas has been interesting enough, but there we go. Ray is going to finally find Shotzi. Hugh's still sitting there in top shot. Oh, Clay finds Jed as well, so now it's going to be a three on three. All time. Oh, Rated's found two already. At least missed another one, but they're tough shots. The first two, maybe not so much, but that one, just the head poking out. 28 seconds left here in the bomb. It looks like we might be seeing a rotation. Dylan on your screens, MP5 in hand. He could be caught off guard. He's got to be tagged. Slips behind the cop car. And he's got to find himself Clay. Clay again picking it up, but the bomb will go down 2v3. Incredible teamwork from Clay there to make that play run right across the map, make sure that Hugh doesn't go down, keep the numbers up in favor of Dallas. So now with the bomb down, Waskins and Rated have got to go up against Clay, Illy, and Hugh. Waskins. Great shots. Ties it up. 1v2 now. Big tags. Can Clay finish it up now? That's a nice nade. Is it going to be enough to get the kill? Brilliant shot from Clayster. Patience, perseverance, and he did not let that get the better of him, but. Half a second more, and Waskins may be looking at a 1v1 with that bomb player being the diffuser. Yeah, huge for the first blood as well. The pick from the sniper was great. And he actually is the one to be given that diffuse. Great stuff from Clayster there, I feel, as well. He was really one to kind of pick apart the Royal Ravens one by one in that round. Strong, strong M4. Now we see Illy using the sniper, and it looks like they've got two, actually. It looks like we've got two snipers. Yeah, on they the had last time. They, did, they didn't last run. Yeah. Yeah, Hugh can Illy. We saw Hugh go to the top shot. This is an offensive round as well, so we'll see how we go. Illy pulled out the MP5, I think, just there. It's the last Checked minute, yeah. Things up. It looks like Hugh's been given the roll. It's fantastic we have that many snipers in the team able to utilize these slightly unorthodox strategies. We say unorthodox because the first time we've seen it here in modern warfare. Dylan opens up first blood for London. The work really being done by... Oh, no. Oh, close down that top shot position. Once again, you have to deal with these players. Rated is going to be doing it, as is Dylan. And three, two, one. Clay right behind door number one. He will go down, but what a brilliant trade that was. His fifth kill of the map so far, and we're only two rounds in. Yeah, it was looking so good here for the Ravens. Clay kind of crawled the way back into it. And again, a couple of kills. One from Wuskin sniping. He's going to find that bomb in no man's land right now. All up to Crim6 and Huke. 2v3. This changes the game so much, having two snipers. Wuskins, he can't be as ambitious. Oh, wow. Huke finds Rated. Makes it a two-on-two. Two. A snipe on either side. And Krim's now going to have to make his way to back up Huke as he goes towards A. They have to recover the bomb. And they have to make a play. 45 seconds remaining for this one. Peeking in, trying to find something. Again, if you look at the minimap, the Ravens are very much set up here. But scraps up top, rated... Uh, sorry, Wuskin at the back. Is the chemistry going to prevail for the Twins? Or are we going to see experience come through? Hughes comes knocking. Oh, he oh, connects, no. but it doesn't take him out. A flesh wound. Is that going to come back to bite them with 15 seconds left? You have to see Dallas get onto the bomb site immediately. Not a single part of him exposed. The shot's there, but brilliant again from Dallas. Second round in a row. <laughs> That uh, could have been a very interesting round if that uh, that sniper shot puts him to bed and puts it in a 1v1, but credit to Dallas there. They acted fast. Now 2-0 up in the, ser uh, in the series, in the map, in the ma last map here, game number five, if you just joined us. 2-2, all tied up. It is first to six. 
bit of bad luck goes to Dylan, or to, sorry, to Waskins with that snipe, the flesh wound. Defensive round now for Dallas. Still running that two snipe setup. Scraps find the first onto Shotzi, destroying a car there, so a nade would have gone off nearby. Hilly yet to find the success with the sniper rifle, but this position in books is great, but he's about to be overrun. Oh my oh, word. No, that's rough. Night, Jared, night. it's an exploding car. It takes down both he and Dylan. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> rated, I tell, you, I tell you what, this is where Jerd is praying for Rated and the Twins to go big because this is a round which they really would have won. The positioning was so strong. They got the first blood. And I think Jerd might be having a big sigh. A big, big sigh there of relief. <laughs> relief is definitely the word. Waskin cleans it out with a nice big shot there to end the round. You have to think the round would have gone a little differently if the other two players had managed to make it on that site. The bomb went down, but it didn't really matter. Here we go, London on defence now, Dallas <laughs> in the offensive round. Can't believe Jurd just needed him and his team, man. <laughs> he did, took himself out well and truly. Four ARs for Dallas and a single sniper. They're playing the long game here. Big tag from Waskin once again, unable to really find the kills here, but the shot's on. Can't let that discourage him, though. It can be extremely discouraging when you land those shots and don't manage to get the kills, but mental game for London has to remain strong. Rated stunned up slightly, but that nade's going to push them back, give a little bit of information, allow Waskin to reposition and try to put that sniper to work. Grenade does not connect there. Shotzi was close, but he's hidden behind that pillar. Shotzi and Illy, both 0 and 3. On the flip side, Jerd 0 and 3 as well. So three players looking to open up the account, but the bomb is edging its way forward. Crim 6 opens up and Wuskin will be shut down. They know that's the sniper out of play. Yes, yeah, great play from Krim to back up the bomb carry there and actually push so far up with him. Being able to watch two angles when you push your way through Bookshop is imperative. With that, Ray's going to try to answer back. There it is. Confidence from Crim 6. Hubris, maybe, as he goes down 4v4. Now the problem is there's 35 seconds. You've got to come up with it a few. Someone's got to make the play. Shotzi, tippy toeing out. He's actually scrapped who snipes him. Jerd finds a kill off screen. And Jerd's going to slowly go down. Hugh has a sniper as well. He's in a strong position. Scrap says no. And we could have a snipe off right now. We've got to see where Hugh is. Hugh. He's going to go down. And the Ravens tie things up 2-2 two two here in game number five. And honestly, when that bomb went down and I'm thinking it's a 4v4 with 35 seconds, I'm thinking Dallas have got to have this. <laughs> but it was scraps, actually. Two kills with a sniper, incredible stuff. He picks up the rifle of his fallen twin, puts it to good work. Tied up 2-2. Two two. Again, opening moments by Dallas are so strong. They're cerebral plays, but it's a little bit of special source from London that keeps them in the map. London offense. Oh, another what? tag. I can't believe three it. Three tags in the map so far. Potentially three kills and three different round results, but who knows, mate? That's not up to us. The COD God's not exactly smiling on him right now, but there's a bit of a grimace. Aim higher. <laughs> Nine seconds. No, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just a little what bit. Can, what can you do? Oh. Illy found himself a cheeky little spot. It's going to be traded. Rated does help out Dylan there. 4v4 now as the rotation, it seems, from B to A is going down. It really does seem to show how important the snipers are on Piccadilly. Such long range of sights, you've got a lot of cover. Yeah, it's a really solid work being put in by the snipers on both teams. However, it's rated at six and two. Five and two oh. for Hugh, five and three for Clay. Rated, I think, just saw him jump up and he's gonna be aggressive. He's gonna shut, be shut down. He didn't expect Crim6 to be there and no one's there to trade it. Yeah, Rated was out in absolute no man's land there. No one able to get that trade. Gifts that kill to the Dallas Empire, and makes it a 4v3. Clay, though, is he able to find anything from here? That shop has been his home. Top shop, bottom shop, whatever you want. Ding, ding, here comes Clay. Boskin finds one, shots he trades out on the jet immediately. 3v1, all in the Waskins. And there it is. The bomb may have gone down, but Waskins will be clean, cleaned out. 15 seconds remaining, and Clayster will hit the defuse. A good round for Dallas. 360, no scope. Okay, all right. <laughs> Empire will take the lead 3 to 2 after that defuse. Slow and steady won the race there. A little bit ambitious from Rated again. It, it was a really good round and a well played round by Empire Hang on. as well. Wait, Just look, it's Ghost. It. Is that Ghost top left? Is that a little. No, maybe not. I don't know. 
I was still thinking he was joining phase for a I second. Just, the ADD kicked in there, mate. Sorry, I was gone. <laughs> Let's do this. No donuts as Shotzi and Ely find themselves the first kills. But it doesn't matter about the kills right now. Dallas are in the lead. Three to two. Round number six underway. Connections on the grenades, but not going to take anyone out just yet. Aggressive work from London. Yeah, Jude's really far up. Really far up. But he's in a position to possibly get a trade. Ross opens the round out with a nice kill. There's the shot, Scraps. So Marshalls lead the charge. Jerd now, he's got to watch that right flank. Got to watch out for Hugh. Well, skins, another. Five on two now, Shotzi and Illy are in a lot of trouble. Illy though, will win the gunfight against Dylan. This is where Shotzi and Illy are more than capable of winning this round. 2v5, now 2v4. You can't just single-handedly start dropping like flies for Ravens. You've got to play this as normal. The pressure is off. Jerd, however, is the closest. I'd love to see exactly what happens here because he's more than likely going to be the one first in the action. Jerd's in a great spot. Dead Illy silence though. from Illy. Yep. That's a flash. Brilliant work from Jerd. Hit and run. That's all he's got to do. Play the numbers. Wait for his teammates to show up. Jerd's on fire. Didn't even need his teammates. Quick reload. Hop, skip, and a jump. Out there he goes. The luck of the Irish, maybe, but a brilliant finish nonetheless. And there was two plays by Jerda like that round. The first one, when he pushed up, he didn't find anything. When he got that, that first kind of initial kill, it was kind of stole away by Scraps, but he, he retreated. He, he was patient. Second one, then he, find the, he finds the kill. He doesn't overextend. He doesn't play like a maniac. He comes back and he goes round, round and round there. And he's rewarded for that, but it's patience, it's experience. You know, some of these... Yo, okay, younger players may get a little excited. But anyway, round number seven, underway. Wow, that was so close. But no cigar. Aim left. <laughs> Aim higher. Oh, Shotzi's going to open this up on the kill in the Jerd. That's the first. And again, London, so, so aggressive, too aggressive. The cars are getting the kills uh -oh. from now. Krim finds another kill on the rated, and this round could be over at five on two. It's a massacre. Down to the marshals now. They've just got to make something happen here on board with Shotzi. Tags up from scraps, but watch those blue arrows on the minimap. The call-outs come through. They can just throw bodies at him and hope for the trade. Unless, though, they have no idea where Waskins is right now. Yeah, Shotzi can just keep shoulder peeking as well. Yes, the shoulder peeks one too many for scraps. And Waskin is in here, 1v5. Tough, though. Without the bomb. He was so scoped in there. Yeah, he's going to take care of himself. See ya. Night, night. <laughs> <laughs> Takes care of himself. Rolls on in the next round. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that, actually, on one. Chalked it up. Yeah. A no-win scenario, but uh, for some people, there is a no such thing as a no-win scenario. The clock's not on his side. He doesn't really have enough time to make anything happen, and now he's in a spot of bother. Well, Dallas take the lead one round at a time. Now they're on offense. Such a close game, a close series. The first version is really finished at round 11. Both hard points pretty close. Dallas, of course, winning two maps in a row. Judging by the minimap, we've got a fast, aggressive play here onto A by Dallas. Scraps and Jurd may be called upon. Again, the smoke might just be a bet. Trying to lure them out. Jurd's in such a dangerous position, though. He peeks up, he's got such a great view of the map. However, he exposes himself and he can be cut down very easily. Oh, that's a head! Oh! What a shot! Sickening. Shotzi now does not let the plan go to waste and he continues to push in towards B. Clayster evens it up with a kill on the scraps. Nate's not going to find anyone for V4 now. This Wolfskin's going to go back and two to the library. And he ain't looking for bullets. It's all right for Dylan. Only two MP5s on the map at the moment. There were scraps. May he rest in peace. And Jerd, he's still got his up and about. Again, Jerd in such a great position. Shots there, but he's got to back up now. He's already rung the dinner bell, and here come the hungry, hungry members of the Dallas Empire. Oh, Hugh Clay. has him in his sights. Oh, he really did. But that's a good thing. I mean, now London can make their way forward. The bomb going down quickly. A possible of the angle, but you're so close to the demise, Jerd. Hugh actually got taken down, and that's from Dylan, so the sniper's off the plane. Jerd has the high ground, but he can't see anything. The bomb being down doesn't favor him right now. He just needs to wait for his teammates. They have the number advantage. It's all up to Clayster and Shotzi here. 4v2 as the Ravens start to collapse upon them, down to just Clay. There's plenty of time, and one's going to jump on it. But what's Clay going to do? Find Jerd. Tick-tock. The bomb's getting defused, and Dylan 
finds himself four kills as the bomb is defused and we see another tied game. 4-4. Four, four. It's a heads up play from London to play the numbers like that. They have such a huge life advantage. They could almost go for it in those 1v1 fights. They could allow this time to go down because meanwhile they've got another guy defusing the bomb. 4-4. Four, four. In this game, five. Ruskin will not put that sniper away. Eight and five for him. Eight and five for Clayster. Up on top of the bin. Can we find one of these before the map is done? <laughs> Maybe not this time. A little over ambitious, maybe too eager there for Waskins. He could have waited for the smoke to really settle before the members of the Dallas Empire ran through that one, but still. Two man push right through the middle for Dallas. One of them is at B. And one thing I will say is Dallas have been really good on the defense here. And Ravens have been caught out a couple of times. This time it looks like they're playing a little slower, trying to play for a pick and maybe wanting Muskins to open up that. Dallas, though, sticking to the plan. 30 seconds have passed, and Wuskin hasn't found anything. No sniper on the hands of Dallas. They've got five M4s. Well, rated, though. He's going to shut down Heat. It's a very flexible roster, Dallas, and they're willing to try different yeah. things. Two snipes, all M4s, no MP5s. They're not too worried about shaking up the rulebook, challenging the meta. Wuskin still holding firm, holding steadfast. Ooh. Good timing, the call-up came there. There's the shots, no damage. Not able to get the kill as well. Illy and Krim, they find their kills. Waskin answers back immediately. Three on three. Jordan now trying to make his way straight across the map. Can he do it without being tagged? Shots are there, but he will be made safe. Oh, oh damage has been dealt. These M4s are powerful. Dylan connects with the grenade and now pushing forward into a, a bit of an interesting position. He could catch Clayser off guard here. But he's waiting for the bomb to be pushed around. Jerd's obviously holding that right now. And <gasps> if they can get the bomb Illy. down, this could be special. But Illy doing what Illy does, finds one, and he's out of there. 3v2. And Dallas with a heavy advantage. Bomb is going down. Dylan, though, makes it even. Dylan goes down. Clay all still, up to Jerd. Clay still answers back immediately in a 1v2 now for Jerd. Can't get it done. Clay gets the kill. As Jerd, he overextends after arming the bomb and gives the kill to Clay. Illy. Heroics on the other side of the map, a dead silence play that really turned the round around. And now, Dallas Empire, match point. They are one round away from the grand final. They're taking every second possible to compose themselves. Let the youngsters, let the relatively inexperienced players of Shotzi and Lee just calm down a moment. The nerves have got to be rising. One more round is all they need. We had a round 11 in map number two. We might be treated to another one here. Dallas Empire, one round away from progressing to the final here, of course. Ravens. We've got to get two. Nine kills for Wuskin. On the flip side of things, we've got nine for Clayster. Round number 10, here we go. HDR's a piece for both teams. Waskins is going to be charging forward and it's going to be Hugh running the XDR. Six kills to his name so far. Jerd once again, hyper aggressive, all over A. Empire R. Right in through goes Jerd. Hit fire, not able to get anything done. Clay's there. We'll get the first blood. Hugh finds a second underrated with a sniper and it's starting to look a little bit dangerous now as London have got to slow down. Dallas can keep this pressure up. As the aggression is paying off, it comes down to Scraps and Dylan. Now it's all on Dylan. It has been a flawless round from the Dallas Empire here in the final moments of this game. Can Dylan do this? He is all alone and it is done. It was flawless from the Dallas Empire.